Good afternoon, everybody. I want to do a quick video on the most recent price action in the market in general, but I want to use it as a video to illustrate technical analysis and how you really need to pay attention to what's going on and not fight what's going on. And we're actually going to do it with old school trend lines. You can see here we're watching the cues. This is really more a lesson in not allowing yourself to get ran over uh, based on what you quote unquote think might happen versus what is happening. And actually what we're going to focus on here is uh, volume as much as the price action because technically speaking as price rises as price is moving higher in, the, in this case in the direction of the prevailing trend you should be seeing an increase in volume in the direction of the trend and a decrease in volume in the pullbacks that is classic technical analysis technical analysis 101 you know whatever number you want to put on that uh, and in fact we are seeing the exact opposite we are seeing heavy volume moves to the downside against the prevailing trend and we're seeing volume actually lighter on the moves higher and again you can see a pullback on heavy volume volume on the bottom here and you can see we're making new all-time highs on decreasing volume so this is actually going to drive the experienced traders batty for lack of a better way of putting it but what I want to do here is I want to I want to combine what we just covered with basic trend line analysis. We're going to leave out moving averages and all the other kind of stuff because I, I want to just basically illustrate we don't need to make it more complicated than it really is. Okay, so to start out we are just going to start with the low point here in uh, let's call it the end of 2012. So essentially what's going on here is we have two things going on. We have a breakout from a previous range so slow grinding uptrend at a double bottom here. This is the perceived resistance level. Now we're pushing higher on, on pretty consistent volume, but you can also see it's decreasing here at the average, which is a moving average, 50 period moving average of the volume there. Uh, but we do break out. So what, what do you expect to happen at this particular level? Well, pretty simple. You're expecting it to pull back and hold support at the prior level and look for another move higher. So we actually end up getting that. So up till this point, we have pretty classic technical analysis. Nothing really earth shattering there. Now what we want to cover here is as we're moving higher we are continuing to hold the uptrend. Okay, We are continuing to not show any signs of anything other than you should be long. Alright now here's the point that I want to get across and this is probably more so for traders uh, as investors are really more just closing their eyes now and, and the markets bailing them out no matter what you need to pay attention to what is happening and not forecast and close your eyes to say we're too high there's no reason and you know all of those kind of, of things if you are exclusively trading long like you should be right now other than these little blip downs which should only be momentum trades you should be aggressively looking for longs and you should be shorting with a momentum based uh, mindset if you are looking to short at all now the traders that I know that are making the most money right now are only looking long if they are looking to the short side they're not doing it with any kind of size specifically because of this type of move this type of move where we sell off hard the market catches a bid and we rally and we just keep drifting higher so the longer term picture right now we pull back break a trend line and then pop through the resistance let me actually pull another one out here because this pattern just keeps happening over and over and over again and if you're not paying attention and only uh, anticipating a sell-off because you just feel the market's um, extended or shouldn't be where it is you are trading poorly you need to pay attention to the price action there has never been a threat of any of the first time lows that we pushed through now uh, if you read Trader Vic um, um, all the other classic trading books on trend lines and you can see you don't need to make it more complicated here's actually a nice ascending wedge we push up break a trend line you establish an area now one of two things is going to happen you're either going to penetrate and start a new trend to the downside and you, again I could put this at any of these levels that we actually ended up breaking but we did not we did not push down and make a new trend so this would technically end up being a trend or a change of trend zone or a chop zone whatever you want to call it but we never had that we haven't had that for the longest time so I'm getting a lot of emails and comments of people frustrated about what's going on stop being frustrated stop paying attention to oh it's supposed to do this it's not 
happening. Pay attention to price action. Pick your spots. If you're long, you can hold a little longer, get a little more aggressive. If you're short, it should be nothing more than a momentum move for this exact reason. We are seeing nothing but continuation patterns to the upside. Ignore these volume moves because they're making you nuts. They're making you into a poor trader because you're not paying attention to simple price action.